There are no deputies around this guy whatsoever. I mean, he he leaps over the fucking bench. This is just absolutely, I mean, and it's great form. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I am Bruce Rivers, your very own personal board certified criminal defense lawyer. Board certified by the National Board of Trial Advocacy as a criminal trial specialist. That means I try a lot of cases. And board certified by the Minnesota State Bar Association as a criminal law specialist. So this is what I do. Criminal law is my area of expertise. And we are joined today behind the camera by the content genius you know as Michael Rivers, the creator of this channel. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about courtroom decorum. How are you supposed to act when you're in court? Before we get to that, uh, this is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com, which is what? A very effective way to remotely do business. Now, not everybody is in business, and you don't always just need it for business. You can use it for any type of agreement, e power of attorney, medical release, for a retainer agreement, which is what I use them for most often. Like, for example, my grandma, she actually got cited for contempt. She was in court and she was off of her rocker and just getting violent with the judge. And it was really just, you know, my grandma's got a lot of problems. And so what did she have to do? She had to go, number one, get a psych evaluation because they thought she was nuts. Number two, she had to get a lawyer. And she didn't want to leave her own home because, you know, she's got a walker and and she's pretty lethal with that walker. So what did she do? She goes to eSign.com. You download the app. You get three free signatures a month. And she could do everything she needed to do uh, eSign. And that's why I like it because you can, you know, I, I can get it done quickly. So eSign.com, very effective way to remotely do business. Okay. So Deborah, I think that's his name, Deborah, D -A -D -A -B -R -A, D -E -O -B -R -A. I don't know how you pronounce it. He was being sentenced in um, Clark County, and he had three prior violent felonies, He mostly domestic stuff. I mean, I'll be honest with you. The guys that I represent who are charged with domestic cases, I don't like them. I don't, first of all, there's no reason to put your hands on anybody, really, unless, unless you're protecting yourself. And, you know, with women, you know, there's never a reason to put your hands on a woman. I said that all along, and I, I'm never going to diverge from that. So, guys, if you're going to complain about, oh, maybe there's a reason. No, there's never a reason. You don't put your hands on a woman. But guys who, who do that kind of shit are what? Pains in the asses. You know, I, they're just awful. They, they never take accountability for anything. They want the moon. I could have done this myself, you know, blah, 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 fucking blah. But people who are kind of crazy and violent are also a little unpredictable. And so, well, and, and when you're in court, you show up to court neatly dressed. You show up to court, um, you know, uh, polite, on time. And the three key rules for a criminal defense lawyer, always on time, impeccably dressed, and occasionally sober. So, we have a situation where Diabra, or Debra, looks like it's Debra, but uh, this guy in uh, Las Vegas, he shows up to court for sentencing. Now, it's, it's you know, an issue about whether he's going to get probation or whether he's going to prison. There was a violent affray in court. Judge sentences him, blah, 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 and he attacks the judge. Um, the defense lawyer um, did not comment. <laughs> what, what are you going to say as his defense lawyer? The prosecutor says uh, he's been violent his entire adult life. Mr. Redden was not in custody when, when this sentencing was going to happen. But let's talk about that. I guarantee you the judge knew uh, what was going to happen in terms of her sentence. She knew he was, she was going to recommend prison, not recommend, order him to go to prison. When you, when you do that, there's always a risk of an outburst. So you need to have the deputies in the courtroom because you don't get to report to prison. Federally, you kind of do. You can have self-surrender federally. But in the state system, generally speaking, you get sentenced to prison, it's forthwith. That means right now. So what does she need to do? 
what does this judge need to do? This judge needs to have a, two or more deputies at his side because this guy's not in custody. He's not in handcuffs. He's not in prison uh, scrubs. He's there pleading for his life. And one of the things he says was uh, he described himself as a person who never stops trying to do the right thing no matter how hard that is. And let me tell you something. Doing the right thing ain't that fucking hard. But for some people, it's uh, a little hard. And th these are his words. I'm not a rebellious person, he told the judge, later adding that he doesn't think he should be sent to prison. But if it's appropriate for you, then you do what you have to do. Okay. Let's just analyze that a little bit. He's asking for probation. He's got three prior felonies. So let's just kind of take a look at the video from the courtroom that day. Look at the courtroom scene. We've got the defendant standing up there. Um, we've got his lawyer who looks like he's kind of a, a ways away from him, if that is his lawyer. And it looks like he's got uh, a nice sweater on or sweatshirt, whatever. So he I mean he doesn't but he's he's not he's not dressed in in prison garb. So let's see what he has to say. The court wants to be 1948 as suggested by the, by the DA. I would have no issue with that, but the suspended rather than just send him to prison for any length of time. I think it makes more sense given the circumstances. You can't really hear what the what the um it's his lawyer that's speaking, but he's pleading for him to get probation. When you have a case where your client's kind of, I don't want to call him irredeemable, but has such a bad past that it's really unlikely, it's tough to get up there and make that argument. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because... I appreciate that, but I think it's time he gets a taste he gets a taste of something else that's kind of antagonistic. And keep in mind, well, let, let's, let's go back and just look. There are no deputies around this guy whatsoever. None. There, there should be, and you know what? Sometimes that's how you know your client's going to prison because all of a sudden the deputy's there in the fucking courtroom and they're going to take him away. So if, if you're standing there and there's deputies on either side of you, your client ain't going home. He's going to prison. Um, but so there's no deputies right by him. That's a mistake. The judge knows she's going to sentence him to prison, right? And she knows he's a violent guy. But I mean, according to his own words, he's not a rebellious person. Well, let's just continue on. Now, did you see the deputy that was sitting there? There, there was a deputy in the courtroom, but he wasn't anywhere near the, this dude. And he's behind a fucking desk. So, I mean, courtroom security is paramount when you have a violent person in the courtroom. I that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the law. And it, she's very cavalier about it. And she says, I think he needs a little taste. That just does not sound good. I, I don't like that wording. But it's not terrible, terrible. But. Laws of state of out of this court. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> fuck that bitch you know i was i had a sentencing one time and uh my client says fuck you bitch to the judge as they were hauling him away because she gave him prison time and then the judge turns around and says i've been called worse <laughs> but look at this athleticism of this um of this defendant oh, 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 oh. I mean, he he leaps over the fucking bench. This is just absolutely, I mean, and it's great form. I mean, look at this. I mean, he's full on in the air doing a Superman or what you call the uh, the Western roll. It's not a Fosbury flop. Um, and he's going right after that judge. And where's the fucking deputy? There's nobody around. <laughs> Okay, let's just say he lost his argument. Let's just say um, 
that was not persuasive to get the judge to reconsider her sentence. And he really is going after that fucking judge. What did the judge do? The judge just sentenced him, you know, and, but the judge definitely should have known that this guy was violent. I don't remember what the actual, and this is in Clark County, so it's in Las Vegas, Nevada, but there's just no reason uh, to not have guys around him when he's sentenced. And he's beating the shit out of the fucking judge. And then you got all these people standing around in the fucking uh, well, the courtroom, you know, huh? You know, they're just kind of watching dumbfounded. Hey, I want to remind you guys to uh, visit Step 1 and get some. Get some Step 1 underwear. It's a, you got to have at least 12 pair. And guess what? Um, this Sunday, I'm going to be racing. Uh, I do downhill, uh, giant slalom, and I'll have my Step 1s on. I have them on right now. You don't even know that you're wearing them because they're so comfortable. They're made out of a viscose fabric that's derived from organic bamboo. It's got a lycra panel. That no chafe, no sweat. And the pouch really holds your goods where they're supposed to be. These are the most comfortable, high-performance underwear I've ever worn. And here's the deal. The deal that I've secured for you is this. You order some underwear. And ladies, February is right around the corner, which means it's Valentine's Day. So order some for your man. And you order some of these. You get 25% off. At, at checkout, you just put in Bruce Rivers. And you will get 25% off. That's a deal I've secured just for you guys. And guess what? If you don't like them, within 30 days, you get a full refund, money back guarantee. But guess what? That ain't going to happen. You're going to absolutely love them like I do. Step one, underwear. Get some. Oh, you're good. You're good. Stop. Please. Don't do this. Please, please. Hey, where's Mary Kay? Is she okay? You know, I told this story before, but I was sitting there one time with a client and biggest forearms I've ever seen in anybody. And he was super charismatic. He, um, he would be able to, you know, charm the guards out of anything. And we're sitting there and he was on, it was on a homicide. Jury comes back. Prosecutor had been just a fucking prick to my client, you know, like, Oh, you like prison food, you know, that kind of stuff. And there's no reason to do that. There's no reason to be antagonistic, although they want to put you in prison for your life. So we're sitting there waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting, and your palms are sweaty and your heart's pounding because the jury's got a verdict, and they come back. And he leans over to me and he says, now I've told you this story before, but it's been a while. Uh, but he leans over to me and he says, if it's guilty, I'm jumping over this table and I'm whooping that prosecutor's ass. And he would have done it too, but... And so I'm sitting there, what do I do with that information? I'm an officer of the court. Probably should tell somebody, right? So I didn't tell anybody. And lucky for that cop, or not, well, he was a former cop, but the prosecutor, lucky for that prosecutor, it was a not guilty. Because otherwise, and, and if you're going away for 25 years, who gives a shit if you assault somebody? I don't know how much time he, he was getting here because she never really got to what his actual sentence was going to be. Hey, oh, you know somebody? Yeah, give me oh, so now the judge also has a button right here, right under her bench. You know, she can press a button and deputies are supposed to come flying out. She should have had the deputies there at the ready. Oh, shame, man. Shame's on Oh, my gosh, dude. This fucking skin's hanging. Oh, come on, buddy. This is just mayhem. And there's his lawyers standing right there like a deer in the headlights. So anything that happens in court, anything that happens in court, you, you know, judges are to be revered and respected. And I'm not revered, to be respected in court. It's their position. It's not the person. It's the position. It's sort of like, you know, the presidency or uh, judicial seat. And you have to, I mean, the judge is in, in charge of, could be the rest of your life. 
And both sides have to really respect the judge. You can be found in contempt for being disrespectful to a court. You can be found disrespect, or you can be found in contempt for wearing the wrong clothes. You know, I mean, so having something like this happen clearly is contempt of court. But that's not his biggest problem now. You think that, you know, his underlying sentence is going to be hard? This will be a consecutive sentence of assaulting a judicial officer, which is a protected person in Nevada. Hey, where's Mary? Hey. She's right here. She's right here. She's right here. She probably got a little bit of a concussion, is my guess. Stay down. Get on the ground. And once this happens, something like this happens, you you sort of forfeit the rest of the hearing, honestly. I mean, you don't have to be present for the judge to, to issue the rest of your sentence. Is, is she talking? Yeah, right. Oh, shit! Yeah. 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 It's really annoying, isn't it? But what mayhem in that courtroom. So let's just go back and just watch, watch the actual jump. Fuck that. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, he leaps so high and so far. And, um, and, and he throws her to the ground. And he's just going after her hard. You know, there's only one deputy. I don't know if, what the difference is between the other guy that's in the, in the blue jacket. They call them marshals. You know, in a federal court, you've got marshals, and they're all in blue jackets. And then you've got the, um, the transport guys who usually are in plain clothes. But there should have been at least two deputies right where he was. You know, right on either side of council table so that they could intercept him should he try to do something like this. And he's strong. And, you know, he had a mental health evaluation, a competency evaluation, and he, I think he was found incompetent for a short period, and then he was restored to competency, which means when you're incompetent, you can't, you know, proceed in a criminal setting. But then they found him competent. They can restore him to competency. And he still wasn't in custody. So when you have a situation like this, it's dangerous. And, and luckily, the judge wasn't hurt badly. She refused medical attention, probably had a, somewhat of a concussion, and hopefully she'll be okay. When you look at conduct like this, and this is extreme. This, like, never happens. You know, I've had uh, clients, I had one client stand up and apologize to the nation of Colombia, to the United States, that he's the godson to Pablo Escobar, and he was just going on and on and on and on. And that was okay. That was, you know, I mean, he wasn't violent, but he was, it was an outburst. And I've had outbursts happen, you know, periodically, but nothing like this. Word to the wise, you know, he made his situation 10 times worse by doing this. And this is just a matter of impulse control. You know, I mean, he, he got pissed off because he didn't get the sentence he wanted. But he's not a rebellious person. <laughs> I mean, fuck. You can't make this up. So we'll, we'll continue. To, he's supposed to have court, I think, today. Um, I don't know if he actually showed up for court today or not. Sometimes you can refuse court. But now he's charged with another major felony. And that's going to be an aggravated felony. It'll be consecutive to whatever else he's going to have. That means one after the other. So, so it'll likely double his time. And... Um, We'll follow it, and we'll bring news to you as we see it. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Sign up for Patreon. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self-snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self-snitching gon' get you put away.
23 hour lockdown, please accept my call.